warmer weather coming our way could mean the ice on mid Michigan's lakes and ponds is not safe. Marcus Dash trained for ice rescues with the East Lansing Fire Department today and brings us this report. Uh, ice rescues, I think uh, countywide we've already had two or three this year, so they are prevalent. They do happen. Captain Howie says as much as they train firefighters to save the public from falling through the ice, a lot of their training has to do with protecting themselves first. They're all trained on how to self-rescue themselves if they were to fall through the ice. They're trained on the equipment that we currently carry, the ice rescue suits. Uh, all our rescue lines. I am standing with the East Lansing Fire Department calls the throwback station. This is when firefighters arrive on scene and they see someone drowning from shore. They'll throw a bag with a rope that has a ball at the end of it. This ball a person can grab onto and the firefighters can just pull them in from shore. This is just one of the many stations they have here. As you can see, we have cut a hole in the ice here. We put a patient in there, which is a firefighter, and then a rescuer comes out there and does a rescue with a ghost sling and a rope bag. Captain Howie tells me a big portion of the training is done in the classroom before they step out on the ice. That's where he goes over different rescue techniques and safety tips he would like them to convey to the people they deal with. We highly recommend that you tell someone that you're going out on the ice. You tell them approximately what time you will be back. You also take clothing, proper clothing. If you do fall through the ice, you take some type of whistle. And that was Marcus Dash reporting. Captain Howie recommends staying off the ice, but if you are going to do any sort of activity on it, make sure there is four to six inches of ice. He says you also shouldn't drive your car onto it under any circumstances.